SimProcess Google Shopping Feed app for Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can install the SimProcess Google Shopping Feed into your Shopify store. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Shopify.com. Then you need to sign in into your account. As you can see here, we have the account that we are using. And also we can see here the admin dashboard. Make sure to buy a plan, then you are going to make your store visible. By buying a plan, this is a very must step to make sure that everything works well. Because initially the uh, Shopify uh, stores are going to be password protected if any of their uh, subscriptions is not added. So right here we have the left side menu. As you can see, we have the online store, we have everything. Make sure to add your products, also your uh, payment methods. And then you are going simply to search or click on the search bar at the top. Then you are going to type SimProcess like this, SimProcess. So then you are going to click on search on the App Store of Shopify. So here we have the Shopify App Store. We're going to seek for the specific app that we need to our store. So this is the official app, which is SimProcess. Google Shopping Feed, we're going to click on it. This is the official logo of the app. As you can see, we have a free trial available and also it is a paid app. So you're going to try it. If you like it, you are going to um, buy the plan on it. Or if you know it is up to you, then you can deinstall de it. So I'm going to click on install. Now we are going to give the permission for the app to be installed. Then we are going to process for the next steps. Now we are going to grant the permission by clicking on install. And now we are going to see right here the app that will pop up. So here we have the app. I'm going to see here the Google Shopping uh, feed here um, uh, widget or as you can see here the app. So the first thing that you need to do before doing anything is to pin to the navigation. So we are not going to lose the side of the app. So now we are going to click on sign in with Google. Go ahead and choose one of the accounts that you have. So I'm going to choose a Google account. Then we are going to click on continue. So here we have the uh, uh, permission to give to the Google account to make sure that everything will works well. It is right here the authentication. We need a merchant center ID and uh, this is a must. As you can see here, I have already a Google Merchant Center uh, uh, interacted or created with that specific Google account. You can go ahead and uh, create or visit the Google Merchant Center. Then you are going to get the specific ID of it. So in my case, I have already one. So we are going to check it. The app is now uh, going to see the domain is verified. Shipping information is verified and etc. We are going to accept the privacy system. And here your Merchant Center has been connected successful successfully. So now we have some integration or advanced integration uh, to uh, see. You can go ahead and check and put whatever you want here. Uh, the primary target country is USA. You can go ahead and use here one of these. It is very limited. And for the language, you can go ahead and put it here, whatever you want. We have a lot. So uh, for the product, Format ID, you can go ahead and put it, for example, here, global format, SKU variant or product ID like this. I'm going to put it like this. And then you can go ahead and put the notification email. So we are going to uh, modify that to Jack Smith as the same email. 
this is just a email that I am going to set here uh, just for uh, for making sure that everything works well. This is not a personal email. Every email or account created in this video, uh, such as here, uh, Google accounts or email addresses are created just for the sake of the video, not for any personal uses. So we're going to click on synchronize. Then here we have the, as you can see, everything. Now, you can go ahead and upgrade your insights with Google Analytics. But here, as you can see, the app has started synchronizing your product, depending on how many products are available in your store. It will take a few, a few minutes. In the meanwhile, or meantime, you can consider setting up tracks and etc. So here we have a Google account. You can see here that we have uh, also a Google Ads account. You can create a new Google account or a new Google Ads account if you don't have. And then you are going to click on link. Now I am going to click on link automatically. Since you have a Google uh, ad, you need also to install or set up your Google ad account. If you find some uh, problems with these, you can go ahead and type on another widget or another page, uh, Google ads, create an account within the Google ads. Then you are going to also create an account within a Google Merchant Center. So now everything is checked. Now we are going to activate the app embed. So then we are going to visit the online store or the theme editor. We are going to wait for a few seconds until we see here the app embed. Now we are going to see here tracking tags and uh, here. So right here, everything is activated. I'm only going to click on save. Here we have it. Now let's go ahead and check, recheck status. Now we have checked everything, boom. Now here we have the choices to choose tracking tags needs to be set up for a dynamic remarketing, conversion tracking, choose which value should be tracked as transaction specific conversion value. You can go ahead and uh, check the order total or the auto order subtotal. You can also track uh, the tag of the actual card tracking, begin checkout tracking, and etc. So here everything is set. I'm going to click set up tracking. Now we are going to wait for the processing. There is a lot of steps, but every step is very, very simpleized right there. Here, country of sale, average, here, daily budget. Uh, these are the uh, let's say the ad related for uh, programs or uh, questions you can go ahead and put uh, the uh, campaign status bidding strategy campaign name etc you can go ahead and create a campaign name for example here we need to set for example a budget of ten dollars then you are going to see here the monthly cost if you want to create the campaign, go ahead. In my case, I will go ahead and skip the campaign because I'm not going to create my first Pmax campaign. And here we have the uh, Google Sim Process shopping feed. We can see here the tracking tags, the integrations also. Here we have some, you can manage the product. You can track the tags right there. You can see that we have, uh, we can manage the products. Here, you are going to see here all the products that can be fixed also within the uh, Google Ads. So here we have the listing or free listing on Google. It will list your products on Google Merchant. And also, it will be letting you see here if they are eligible for making the ads or campaign ads for these specific apps or these specific products. On this simplified app of SimProcess, you are going to see here also the integration that are available and also possible. We have Facebook integration, we have Microsoft integration here, we have also Pinterest. You can go ahead and use all of these um, integration. We have the first one which will be automatically connected which is a google shopping uh here for the tracking tags you can also make uh, here 
um, see all the tags that are available and also track every single step or behavior of the customers into your website. We have the right also to create the campaigns. You can create here the Pmax campaigns as you can see here. And uh, you can utilize or the Pmax utilizes uh, the Google AI to optimize the bid strategies and the ad placement and etc. Uh, here we have the promotion feeds. You can see here or create a new promotion. For example, for any of these specific products that you have, choose the date, choose the offer type and etc. Also for the subscription of this specific app, we have a subscription of monthly fees and also yearly fees. You can see here that we have some uh, premium plans. We have here only the trial of the seven days, I think, or four days, it depends. And you can see here that we have a lot of subscriptions. It depends also on the number of published products. You can go ahead and use all your products or also make uh, some of the products uh, publishable and some not. So here we have the same process Google Shopping. Uh, you can go ahead and see whatever suits you will with this specific app. Don't forget to use the payment methods or apply the payment methods of your shop by store because it is a very, very um, necessary to put the checkout here after you have added the products also. You can also set the shipping. Here we have the payment methods. Go ahead and choose your payment methods. Uh, add PayPal. It is a very necessary. You can add the shipping and deliveries. This is very, very, very important to make the uh, store fully functional. And the first step also is to add the products. Don't forget to add your products because sim process will not work without products on your store. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.